nourish our spirit, make us one body with the living word of God. Make us one body with the living word of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teaches us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Know this, my dear brothers and sisters. Everyone should be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For anger does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filth and evil excess. The humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off and promptly forgets what he looked like. But the one who peers into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres and is not a hearer who forgets but a doer who acts, such a one shall be blessed in what he does. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceive his heart, his religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? He who walks blamelessly and thus justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and is slanders not with his tongue. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Please stand. the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. The Lord be 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid his hands again on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. May their friends the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. When this is happened, this happened after the second time. Kaya kung makikita natin, it did not happen outrightly. It took time. Ganon din sa buhay panalangin natin. Alam ko, alam natin lahat ito. Sa buhay panalangin natin, bitbit ang ating mga panalangin at mga hiling. It will never happen outrightly. It will take time. Minsan ba nga, napakatagal. And if you are going to look at the story, you will see from there, there was the first attempt. Did you see anything? Minsan nagtatanong tayo, bakit hindi ginawa ni Jesus agad-agad? Bakit dinahandahan pa? O di kaya bakit, kung, kung baga blurred pa ang dating, but for the first time blurred pa? The first one was not that really perfect. Kaya nga when he was asked, did you see anything? Sabi niya, I see men walking like trees. And then for the second time, there you go. It was his eyes, his sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Makita mo dito, laking bagay yung pananampalataya. Kung baga, tinatanong muna eh, tinitest mo na, kumusta ba ang yung pananampalataya? Di ba tinatanong pa siya, did you see anything? It's a test of our faith. At minsan sa buhay natin, ganun. There could be some challenges. It's a matter of testing our faith. Do you see anything? Are you really sure with this one? Is your intention of coming here clear? Is your faith so firm? Nagsimba ka ba talaga dahil sa pananampalataya? O baka nagpunta ka lang dito dahil may hinihigi ka? It's a test of faith. Parang tao yan eh. And then finally, Jesus saw the faith of this blind man. And there you are. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Kaya minsan, nagtatanong tayo, nagtatampo-tampo tayo sa Diyos, bakit hindi dumatating ang ganito? Narinig ko isang kwento dito, no? Meron daw isang nagpunta dito sa simbahan, bitbit lahat ng mga test papers, reviewer, Bit-bit lahat, and then eventually failed. Unfortunately, nung bumagsak, bah, galit na galit pa, nagsisi pa, sinisi pa. Akala ko ba'y makapangyarihan ka? Minsan, ganun tayo. But then, take note, the question is, gaano ba ka talaga totoo ang pananampalataya mo? It's a test of faith. Kaya sa buhay panalangin natin, mga kapatid, we need to be patient. And we need to be truthful. We need to be firm as well. The first reading told us about the sense of honesty, the sense of sincerity in our words and intentions, the sense of truthfulness in our conviction. It's a test of faith. A test 
of character. Kaya bago tayo humingi sa Diyos, I think it's time to begin with assessing ourselves. Kumusta ba ako? Am I really worthy of these blessings? We are not worthy at all. But definitely, if God knows that we are sincere and firm and really truthful in our conviction, He He po ang Diyos sa atin. Kasi alam ko bilang tao, ito lang ang hinihiling natin. Panginoon, hipuin mo ako. Nangangarap tayo mahawakan ng Diyos. But definitely, God will make that happen if we are so prepared with sincerity and truthfulness. Please all stand. We ask God, the Father, to open our eyes so that we may follow Him wholeheartedly. And for every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may grow in her effort to bring light to those who are experiencing darkness in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness and despise the rejected and unloved, in our society may experience God's care in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's loving presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may find perpetual and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer to God all our personal intentions, seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, we pray, O Lord, cleanse and renew us, that it may become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. To the Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. 
For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all the saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Dominic, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and never. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public service. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, while it is your gift to us, a call to serve others, may our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all these rosaries, candles, and religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.